I got to look over here. I still am drawn to look over there. This is Mary Lou. You know, I'm not even sure what the day is. Today is Sunday. I can look it up. Do, 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 do. I'm not really savvy with this phone either. Today is the 7th, July 7th. I've lost track of time. I mean, it's easy to do anyway, but things have been weird. COVID hit, okay? And dad has COVID. In some ways, it might be a blessing because they were trying to kick him out of there. Now they can't have it. He can't have any visitors for 10 days. So that, I mean, I'm going, you know, you give him COVID and then you think he's going to go somewhere else. No one's going to accept that. But not only does dad have it, I, I mean, I haven't been tested, but I know I have it. And um, I took my brother Nathan to the hospital the other day in, to the emergency room. And that guy in there said, I bet you a hundred bucks you got COVID. Nathan said he wasn't a betting man because he knew he was going to lose probably. But anyway, he was really dehydrated. He needed, I think they gave him an IV. Pretty sure that's what they did. Maybe they didn't, you know? <laughs> Maybe they didn't, but it seems like they would have. That's what they did. They did. I think they gave him a half a bag, not a whole bag, or something like that. It's not really um, all that important, I guess. The main thing is I want to get on here and give you guys an update. I know I've been silent for a few days. I haven't felt good. I haven't felt good at all. And then there's, you know, then there's the emotional state. So you've got your physical self all messed up and then you got your emotional self all messed up together with it and i gotta quit looking over there so i'm gonna try to look over there see then i want to see myself <laughs> so i'll just have to look straight ahead so i'm not feeling good but i'm missing doing videos and i just wanted to give an update a little bit Dad has COVID, but Nathan and Teresa called there last night and got to talk to his nurse. It was actually his nurse that picked up the phone, and um, sounds like he's doing pretty good, considering. <laughs> but maybe he's doing better than he was because, I don't know. I just want him to get better. But I doubt he'll get physical therapy during this quarantine stuff, right? So he's a sick, way sick old man. But at least he's got a nurse right there. And they did put what they call a pick. I don't know what that is. I mean, I kind of know, but I don't. It's, it's an IV line. My father said, I mean, my sister, I think she said, it's a line that they put in, and I'm thinking up here by the, somewhere up here, and it goes down through the heart. That don't sound right. But anyway, it, they couldn't find his veins because he's so dehydrated. And I tried to tell them to give him an IV. But, oh, we've got to have a doctor's order to do that. Well, no, you can't just see and see that it's required and do it. Anyway, the IV makes all the difference in the world. Because Dad wasn't getting any water. And even, even getting water, I'm discovering that um, doesn't mean it's doing you any good. Now, I've got to drink 64 ounces of water a day, and I don't do it. So maybe I shouldn't be doing this uh, treatment anyway. I'm trying to figure that out. Because, you know, if I can't do all the different things that I need to do to make it work, there's no sense doing it, right? It's like, uh, okay, so I'm not even sure now which thing it is. 
because I'm doing, I guess it's three things. I'm taking a hormone blocker pill. And then I'm taking a, instead of that chemotherapy pill, which it wasn't chemotherapy, I guess, but it does everything just like it. And my doctor said, you know, anything going in you that's chemicals is chemotherapy. Sorry, I get a little excited. Can you tell my voice isn't up to par? Yeah. I sat, I did not sat, I laid in the bed two days. So hot. Um, through my bones, through everything, it was just hot. I don't know how else to explain it. So for, you know, when I was in the, my dad's room, this was a while back. He was hotter than you know what, man. I mean, to, to the touch. So yes, I flipped out. <laughs> I said, you take his temperature. I need to know what his temperature is. Now his temperature wasn't all that bad, but it was. His dad's normal temperature is um, 97. And I'm not sure if it's 0.4 or 0.6. But he's in the 97 zone, and so am I. And I think I heard somebody else in the family is, so I bet we all are. Little reptiles. <laughs> anyway, point is, he was 99.8 or something like that. Almost 100, okay? But being 97 is as normal, that's higher than what they thought. I told him. <laughs> of course I told him. Anyway, so, you know, I like doing videos, and I shouldn't really do them when I'm sad, so I might not be doing any more for a while. But I did think maybe I will go back to reading a little bit, because that way I don't have to be happy and jovial. <laughs> I, mean, I can't help but laugh even at the wrong things. I know I have a laughing disorder, just like my dad told him you better start thinking you think before you say <laughs> he says things and then laughs and he's not realizing he's being rude totally rude sometimes you just got to point these things out I mean you're never too old to learn a lesson are you <laughs> yes mostly at my expense okay I was the one here and I'm the one that's easy to pick on. And I pick back. <laughs> uh, anyway. I don't like him being in there. But you know right now he's in the best place, I guess. Especially if they're taking better care of him. I bet you they're taking better care of him now. So. I should just do this little update. But the, okay. I started to say, I get off, I get off kilter, sorry. So Nathan called and they actually, the nurse answered. His nurse answered the phone. So they were able to, uh, when I was right before she was going home, and she said he was doing good. I mean, a lot better than before anyway. I don't know that they have a IV in him or not, but they really ought to keep one. They could make it a slow drip. Anyway, so I'm going to stop um, because I do want to read, and I think I'll just read without doing a lot of commentary. Yeah. I was trying to remember and try to figure out what to read, and I just discovered that I've already read all of Moses. See, I'd forgotten. What I did was I put it in the search bar. Moses read by Lou on Lou's touch and it brought up a, you know in a stream it brought up a bunch of stuff that had to do with Moses okay but I was there several times <laughs> because I've read eight chapters there's eight chapters of Moses and actually the eighth chapter I think I got interrupted so I um, did two two different 
videos covering that, you know, the different verses. Sometimes my phone would just die. <laughs> Sometimes uh, someone would call. Anyway, I would say someone important would call. But otherwise, you know, you have to pick your priorities. And what you're doing is a priority, right? Well, I had, it's so hot. It's so hot outside. No way am I walking in that stuff. But that's when I could go to the gym and walk around there. I need to do that. I've got a code, you know, a number to give them, and they would let me in, of course. But I can get in there before <laughs> they say no. Anyway, I'm just being silly. I'm trying to drink green tea. According to Dr. William Lee, that's really good to fight against cancer, so we'll do that. I suffer tea doesn't affect me well. And coffee doesn't affect me well. It's the whole... See, um... Caffeine doesn't do for me what it does for a lot of you people. It puts me to sleep. You know, it doesn't give me... And it makes me feel weird. Um, kind of drained and stuff. Now, actually, right now I'm telling you how I feel because it's not the caffeine, because I haven't had that. It's, um, I did take a pain pill. I've started putting my pain pills in with my pills that I take in the morning. And so that's making me feel weird. And then I haven't really eaten very good, and that's making me feel weird. So you add all those things together. <laughs> oh hard to get the motivation to do what you need to do to take care of business and to take care of your health. You know, it's like, why bother, seems to me. Put yourself through misery. You know, there's a, a video that I'm going to go back and watch, so it'll show up in my history. And it's a, a, a woman that was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer 21 years ago and I listened to it before I think I might have listened to the whole thing um, that was what she said basically get rid of uh, processed foods first off get rid of processed foods anything that has to be manufactured put in a box you know, like our quick meals, when they have the sauce mix that's in a powder, and all I know is this is the second time I've heard that, um, probably more than that, but this one doctor who wasn't in our country, I don't know what country, told a person, I don't know if she had stage three or stage four. He told her to go home and grow a garden. Quit using processed foods. Grow a garden and eat out of your garden. And then what else can you do? You know, I, I need to figure out how to be alkaline free. Sounds like the house was falling down a minute ago. I wonder if I need to go look into that. I'm ready to close on this anyway, huh? So that's not bad. There's other people out there. I just, they probably need to move the furniture or something happened. Nevertheless, guys, happy trails. Try to make life happy. You know, sometimes it just isn't possible, right? You have to deal with it. So what I'm going to do is start reading again. <laughs> Never know what I'll read, though. I don't think I want to get in there and just try to read a whole book, but if I did, you know, there is one I could go get. Fishers of Men. In fact, I need to go tell those guys I want those books.
I know, I'm just spacing out, huh? You know, I haven't been smoking pot. I haven't had any pot in over a week, maybe two, maybe longer. Because I've been going over there to see Dad. I haven't done it now. But, but we did get sick. I mean, I told you that the, the guy told him, you bet him. And Nathan said, I'm not a betting man. Well, he definitely had COVID. And he said that it was past the point of, there's a medication, I guess, that they can give you. And um, but he said it wouldn't really have done him any good. So there's no sense in doing that. He said he was on the down, downward slope just to, you know, quarantine himself and Stay away from people. Well, the whole house has got it, so we're wandering around our house. Anyway, that's the update. Dad's still with us. And what else? See, that's what I gotta do is just look right there. There's a mirror right there. Then I can look in the right place. <laughs> I just need to be able to see myself. Kind of stops things in its tracks. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't really want to, is I'm gonna go to Ether and pick up where I left off. Because I didn't finish Ether. Because I didn't really want to. And I'm not sure that I want to. But it's something with good stuff in Ether. It's just that there's bad stuff. I mean, bad stuff is coming because what happens is just like all the other books not all of them end that way but a lot end in destruction and the last time I read about destruction it made me cry okay and that was in the book of Mormon now you guys have to get this straight and I know I've said it before and I know you guys already know eh, but some of you don't okay the Book of Mormon is comprised of 15 books with different names, okay? I don't know if in regular books they have the chapters and how long chapters are. I think everything's a little bit different because this is a book of scripture, okay, people? Um, it does take a talent, maybe practice, to be able to read it. But since I studied it all my life, most of it is okay. So far, I'm just not the best reader either. And my mind wants to escape. <laughs> I mean, escape what I'm doing. It's always got something else it's looking into doing. So I lose myself. But it's good to have my brain functioning. I felt like I haven't been. I have not smoked in a long time, and today is Sunday. And I, I said, you know what, I'm gonna have a hit. And that's all I did, one, one hit. But that's because <laughs> after going without, one hit is sufficient, people. You guys could save a lot of money. Make sure you do what I tell ya. Don't abuse it. Use it, but don't abuse it. Enjoy it. But if you abuse it, pretty soon you won't enjoy it. Meaning you won't be able to get high. I mean, I went through a phase. I mean, I, I can't. The phase was that I couldn't get high. Now, isn't that a lovely thing? You have to smoke and smoke and smoke and you don't get high. So don't do that, so don't do that to yourself. <laughs> mm. All I know is I do like it, and I had a hit, and I'm glad I did. It might help me function instead of laying in that damn bed. Um, I've already was in the bed two days burning up. And you know, when you're feeling like that, you don't even stop to think. Here you are, a mother, and you don't know how to help yourself. <laughs> I didn't take any pain pills. I didn't take any uh, uh, 
fever reducers or none of that stuff. I just sat there and suffered. Laid there and suffered. So, I mean, offer a helping hand or a helping thought, you know, because someone in that condition is just not thinking. I, I wasn't thinking. I can remember once before being in so much pain that um, I couldn't function to try to get an aspirin to put in my body. If that makes any sense. So it's probably a good idea, you know, when you guys know somebody's hurt and check on them. See if there's anything you can do. So, I'll back to Book of Ether. I'm going to do a different video and, and name it that. But what I was saying is there's destruction is coming. And so I don't know what I'm going to read. The first ten chapters were good. And I did... And you guys, too, learn some stuff. This, in the Book of Ether. Well, I bet it was the whole Book of Ether. It was. Okay, that's what happened. The Book of Ether. Okay, let's get my head straight here. Some of you know, members of the church know, if they're, if they're studying, it doesn't mean you've studied all the scriptures. Um, I'm going to try to stay on task. It's not easy. I'm being cheesy. <laughs> uh, okay, the book of Ether, the Jaredites. The Jaredites are there. And so they are from the time of the Tower of Babel. And they also built ships and crossed the great waters to come over here. All the languages were confounded. And Jared and the brother of Jared beseeched the Lord that they could keep their language together. And so there were several different prayers because, and this is the truth, uh, Jared was the leader of the Jaredites. Okay, that makes sense. And then um, the brother of Jared is tied with the Lord. Okay. Jared would tell his brother, go pray for this. Go pray for that. He didn't do the praying himself. Probably because he wasn't in tight with the Lord. You know? Anyway, I feel so weird. So, let me try to get to the point of what I was saying. It's just such an immense business here. Like, I've told you about the Urim and Thummim. Okay? Urim and Thummim is instruments used for translating. I'm just going to look up there. We're translating different languages, okay? Which I would make sense when I say translating. <laughs> I didn't say I wasn't redundant, okay? Um, so here's my point, if I can get it out there. The Urim and Thummim is instruments, gift from God to translate one language into another. So the book of Jared, I mean the, these Jaredites, the book of Ether, after it was written, because it was written as a record, and then it was sealed up to come forth now, okay? So I don't know when the Tower of Babel was. I don't have any clue what year that was. I mean, was it after Christ? No, I don't think so. I think it was in their ways, like in the beginning almost. But, you know, we all wonder if the Tower, we don't all, wonder if the Tower of Babel was real, you know. But here's another record telling you all about it. So, they prayed. And at first, they, they didn't probably realize they were going to get an answer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nevertheless, they prayed to keep their language together so they could communicate. 
And then they got to thinking, oh my, okay, we got family and friends here, you know, we got our family, but then we got friends, and then they have family. And so, I know you can't see my hands going all over the place. Point is, this was the building of a tribe, okay? So what they did was, Jared and his brother kept their language together, and they probably had wives and children. And then, their friends, and their friends' family, and then, those friends' family. You know how that goes? It wasn't, so it carried on down the line, I'm sure. I don't know how many people it was, but it was enough to fill eight vessels. And I don't know how long those vessels were, you might say. But the point is, those instruments and the record was sealed up together so that the instruments were there for the translating of the book. And it was saved for our time because there's mysteries in there people I mean I, I read one I'm sure I have read it because otherwise I wouldn't have known it and when I read it I read it to you guys so what was it <laughs> it was talking about um, the brother of Jared saw banger of Jesus Christ his finger as he touched these stones and turned them into light because he was making lights for these ships there were eight ships and so they made 16 lights he went up I don't know which one one of them went up into the mountain and they molten it called molten so I guess it burned it whatever he came back with 16 stones he said Jesus was telling him what do you want me to do you know tell me what you want so he did he told them that um, he could touch those stones and turn them to light so that that could light up the ships. So there was two per ship, one, you know, one on either end, but I would put it, I've said it before, two thirds. You know, you divide it into thirds and then that way the light is in the middle, reflecting here and reflecting there. You wouldn't just put it on the end trying to reflect out and then in the middle would be dark. Anyway, maybe you understood what I said. <laughs> Maybe you didn't. Oh, I do feel better, though. I mean, it is amazing. I know you guys don't like to hear that, some of you people. But it is medicine. We've just been told for so long not to do it. Yeah, it's really sad. It's okay to go to the doctor with your problems and get prescriptions and take all those drugs. Someone really did us a number, man. It's the one who made it illegal. You go back and find the reasons that they did that. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about something else, sorry. I drift away. Yes, I know. All my days feel the same. That at night you call my name and everything turns around. I just want it to turn around and the state turn around. You know, <laughs> it's time to get on with this program. I need my doctor. I need my mate who is my doctor. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't to you guys. But yeah, I do. I need my doctor. Everything could be all better. And I would say could be, might not be. You know, that was a fantasy waiting to be seen. <laughs> so, this was a weird update. That's what it was. I'll have to just put that down. It's a weird update. And yeah, my voice doesn't sound like this. <laughs> See, I've got a phone number here. I never called it. Medical Marijuana.
this has got some numbers I need on it. Very good, very good. See, I was supposed to find that. <laughs> I've been away for a while. Let's see what it does there. Take care, be aware. That's what that says. I was playing with words. You know what we got here. RSO is used in Lou's Magical Brew. I should put my glasses on so I can see better. I'm going to have to read anyway. <laughs> you guys pay attention. All right. RSO is used in Lou's Magical Brew. It is a most excellent edible lube. Want to take your love higher? Promotes blood flow and magic happens. I guess I shouldn't say that next part. But really, it's, it's <laughs> some people won't understand anyway. She can feel every inch of you. Let's see, okay, I scratched out, I scratched out one of the lines. That's why that didn't seem to make sense. Okay. Magic happens inside her. These are just different lines that I was going to put on my card. So down here it says, lose magical brew with RSO. So I'm, tr I'm just playing with the words, trying to make the mind smaller, what will fit, this and that, you know. So lose magical brew with RSO. Relieves pain, promotes blood flow. Most excellent edible lube. Edible people. Um, Experience most excellent edible lube. So that's a different line. It's a little more characters. And that is, <laughs> experience is the key, man. Okay. And this was just a little quirk. Um, one of my friends, Beverly Hammonds, I guess a long time ago, made a statement to uh, Philip. Nancy's. Well, he was her husband during some time. Anyway, Beverly told Philip he was as handy. No, he was, you are handier than a pocket on a shirt. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Okay, so that's all on these. Let's quit doing that. I got my card done now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Except I probably still should write some stuff. I'm going to start writing again. I'm going to have some fun with some words. And I wish tea did not affect me weird. I was thinking I must have started out with that. And I'm not sure. I don't know. This is green tea. So I don't know if there's caffeine or not. I just wish I would get a lift from caffeine. I need something to give me energy. And focus. I guess I could try a focus factor thing. I don't know. I just don't have faith in that either. I'm taking so many pills. I don't want to. But if it worked, I would. So, I'm going to say Sirenora to you people. I know. I don't know where that came from either. You know, we all say things that don't make sense. Like a Happy Trails. Siren Aura. Saying goodbye. And then what is it? Ola? Ola is hi and goodbye. Oh. <laughs> no, I need to work on my neck. Okay. You know I don't like to say goodbye. This card over here says carrots, broccoli, cabbage, spinach. You see, kale would be one of those too. Let's 
This one is interesting. Indians. You guys don't know this, do you? You are of the house of Jacob. Indians are of the house of Jacob. And guess what? That's one of the 12 tribes, right? Tribe of Israel. You're of the house of Israel. When you guys came over here, so you guys all saying you were here first, right? Lehi and his four boys and another family that had girls, you know, and then there was the two heads of the family. I'm talking to, now I'm talking about procreating because they're going to go over to this new world. They went over to this new world and they had to have breeding stock. How about that? <laughs> yeah, breeding stock. That's, you know, so you have Lehi and his wife and you have Ishmael and his wife and then you've got the four boys have the four girls so that's another four so that's six that's six couples and then there was a servant that had to come along or die so he came along maybe he had somebody too and that would be seven <laughs> I know you guys think I'm weird I don't care So anyway, when they came over here, they were white, you people. Lehi and his sons and Ishmael and her daughters and or his daughter. But what happened was Laman and Lemuel were mean. Mean, mean, mean. And they were on the evil side. Okay? And constantly were they after Nephi. Tried to kill him. So anyway, if you read the scriptures, if you know what I'm talking about, I probably should put that up like that. It's a little better. Like in the Bible, Cain killed Abel. And God put a curse on him. He gave him a black skin. And no one was to mess with that. I mean, no, um, <laughs> no sex, no children mixed together. That was a cursed thing, okay? Him and all his seed cursed with the dark skin. Okay, so here you have <laughs> in the Book of Mormon, Laman and Lemuel were cursed with a red skin because they were so evil, so savage like, savages. Okay, so they had a red skin. You Indians started out white, and the reason you got a red skin is because of your savageness. So, you know, you can't say. You can say it, but it's not true. We were here first. No. <laughs> you were mean. You were bad. Back then, some of you turned good. So I'm not saying all was bad. But the reason for that color skin was so the same thing didn't happen. No intermingling with the cursed. Okay? You guys just think about that. Every time you think, you know, <laughs> you were here first. Well, guess what? What did I just tell you? You know the reason they, uh, see, in the Book of Mormon, and I'm talking about the book in the Book of Mormon called Mormon, okay? At the end, there was this big battle. And these tribes all came together okay so the Nephites had I think they only had three different tribes but maybe there was more than that and then the Lamanites 
had four or five. But they just had massive numbers. And then also, don't forget the Gavian robbers. Oh my. I'm feeling strange. Yeah, that's what I should do. I guess I should read that. I need to find out about the Gavian robbers. You see, those are the people, they would live out on the outskirts. And then they would come and pilferage and rape. Take what they wanted. No one could stop them. So they just did it. So it's like uh, in that show, what show was it where the grasshoppers are the bad guys, aren't they? I don't, I don't know who's who, okay, but they're storing up food, they're getting food together, and then these damn grasshoppers come and take it all. And then they have no food left for themselves. How stupid, right? Well, that's the Gaddy and robbers, too. There was a time when you couldn't hold on to anything. They said even you couldn't put it in the earth because the earth would spit it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I read that. I have to check that out. Anyway, this is the Ramblings of Lou. And it's been a while, so I've enjoyed it, even though I'm sure I'm not giving you everything you want. Not really a good update on Dad, but it sounds like he's doing better. They moved him to a different room. He's in room 18 instead of 28. Teresa said it's closer to the door. I haven't gone back in. Anyway, we shall see. Maybe great things will happen. Maybe they'll keep him hydrated and maybe... I mean, miracles do happen. So, we'll leave it at that. Today is Sunday. Let's just something down with this card. I don't like that. These must be things for me to look up a little bit. But one of them says that Satan is the god of this world. In other words, he's, he's in control, but not in control, because I, I don't believe he's in control. But he is allowed to run rampant. Uh, I've got the Battle of Armageddon written down, so I probably have things I wanted to look up. And then Gog and Magog. I don't know what that is. I forget now. And I'm starving, so I guess maybe I could have some toast. So I'm getting sick, sicker, sicker. I shouldn't let you see me eat. This is another one I did. Inspiration comes along and sings you a song. I'm not holding myself right. Search the scriptures and you will find Jesus is talking to you all the time. This says, Jesus, who is he? And this is, to be poor is to be rich. There lies the wealth of life. Go on a treasure hunt, let Lou be your guide. Discover mysteries unfolded inside. Go back in time. Search the scriptures and you will find, no. 
you will discover mysteries unfolded inside. Do, 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 do. All right, this is that house. It is 50 foot wide and 142 and a half feet deep. I need to go there. I just need to go there and fix it up and live in it. It's a little house that was built in 1920. So it's got one bedroom, one little walk-in closet, no living room and a kitchen and a bathroom. Then in the kitchen you have your little dining area, you know. This is just a big square, you just put your table where you want it. If I had tons of money, I would just tear that down and put in a nice modular. You could have a nice modular. That's a good size lot. I don't want to lose that. Don't want to lose anything. But anyway, okay. Yeah, I need to draw a picture of the house, which is kind of weird. Notes to chapter two. That's what I'm supposed to read on Jesus the Christ. I have a cash out for people. I know some people are scared of those things, I guess. I don't even remember how I got it, so I must have got it off of the app store. It's an app. But you follow the promptings and you get yourself set up and it's quick. I mean, once you're set up and linked, it's quick if you need to send money, if you have any. <laughs> or if someone sends me money. I mean, say, say I wanted to sell you something. You know, it was a certain price, a donation. Donations is the deal, guys. And, um, what's the point? I got off myself. <laughs> oh, you have this cash app, and then you get me attached or whatever. I don't even know if you have to. It's, I know it sounds like Zelle. Uh, it's similar. I mean, I used to use Zelle when I had a bank in wherever it was I was. <laughs> I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. The point is, I've got a cash app. And see, I've used this name, Lose Touch, for 40 years. I used to have a, I had a business card where I just listed everything I did to try to make money. And um, so it was Lose Touch. I used to have a royal blue card. But I like my card now. I think it says, I oh, know I've read it to you before, but I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I think it's beautiful. This is the front. Visit Lose Touch on YouTube. You see, I'm reading it backwards from here. I hope you guys can see it okay. And then there's the back. I think it turned out beautiful. And so if I want to put a phone number on it, I can. But I don't have a phone number on here. I just said, okay, it says, I stand with and for Jesus Christ, as I do, okay? And then one of the things he said to his apostles when he sent them out to go teach and preach and do blessings, and uh, I'm not saying my words right, what I'm trying to say is they were able to do miracles there for a while. I don't know, you know, the Holy Ghost is where power comes from. And so he gave them the Holy Ghost during that time. It does not say that, but I'm telling you. Okay, so um, here's what he said. Be wise as a serpent 
and as harmless as a dove. Well, I love that. Okay, and then this is my paper that I wrote. Turn on your light so you are not in the dark. And then it says my email. And then it says donate to my cash app. Lose touch. So what it is, is there's a dollar sign. And then you spell lose touch without an apostrophe. Okay, so it's just L-O-U-S-T-O-U-C-H, all small letters, with the dollar sign in the front, and no space, it's all one line. Lou's Magical Brew, made with RSO, relieves pain, promotes blood flow. Make love making, okay, I gotta say that again, make love making extraordinary. Follow the ramblings of Lou's brain. What does she think? Let her explain. I like it. I think that's really good. So, any of you want my card, let me know. And I will send you one. Okay? I love it. I love it. I love it. In fact... I mean, if you wanted to give some away, I would send five. Okay? One for you and some for your friend. Or just let me know. But I do, I like them a lot. So, I'll put that down. And then I have to say goodbye. <laughs> it's been fun. Looks like I got short hair on it. You should bring it all up. And then need to use my phone and look in the mirror. My hair is all kind of fuzzy. So, I was telling you a couple of days ago I laid in bed for two days and I still been laying in bed. Finally got a shower yesterday and then I slept on my hair, sweating. <laughs> so, be nice if you didn't have to worry about washing your hair. Keep pulling it back. But I do feel kind of funky, so I need to do something about that. I've been trying to think, guys, trying to think. So we shall see what I'm going to do next. I do need to figure out what I'm doing next, big time. I need to go put some of my concoction on my skin. My bone, my veins are sticking up though. Maybe it's because I have it. I haven't put any of my medicine on me. And there they are. Interesting, guys. Can you see my veins? You can't, can you? I can see those. Those are veins. They're sticking up pretty good. I don't know. No. I can see them a little bit. Not, well, yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, I'd say those purple things are veins. Or purple green. I don't remember putting any on me. So, taking that hit, must have also did the same thing, huh? Got medicine into my veins. That's a good little, uh, what do you call it? Experiment. All right, guys. Um, did you get that? My cash app. You guys, if you have cash app, try it. Send me a dollar. Send me a dollar. All right. So where's that? Down 
here on the bottom, right over here. Love you, Nito. Okay. I'm going to say you can send me a dollar and I can send it back. It doesn't cost anything to send money. And it's lickety split. So, if you guys do not have Cash App, you ought to get it. So you can make it easy. And just go boom. <laughs> and then I got to figure out something that you'll want to buy. You really should want to try my stuff, man. I need to go make some more. And I need to be using this stuff. I need to put it all over me. And that's what I need to do. See, I, I want to try and figure out my own... treatment. Okay, because I'm still disconcerted about the fact that um, that girl covered herself up. So there's something dangerous about what they're putting in and I don't like that. It's supposed to stop hormones. But still. So I'm thinking maybe I would just do the pill that's a hormone blocker. And then do my RSO. So I've got plenty of it. I just really need to concentrate on it. And I'm going to use olive oil. Not olive oil. Um, can't think. Castor oil. I've been listening about castor oil. So I'm going to mix uh, castor oil with some of my liquid gold. And then I need to start wearing it every day on my face and on my neck. But also where my veins are. Right through there. And we can see this one and these two. And I'm drinking green tea because of Dr. William Lee. <laughs> my hair is a mess. And my chest is starting to be tight. See, I haven't quite gotten it all the way yet. It's like it's going in stages where you're coughing up crap. My, t my chest just feels tight. And I do, need to, I do need to go over there and get my stuff and put it on my chest because I need it to seep way down in. And the, it sounds like um, what castor oil does is it helps break up tumors and things. So I could put it right there in the middle of my chest if I get enough of it, the castor oil, and also put my um, medicine there too. Maybe I could get to those 